Happy Day One. Desde hace meses, el mundo está teñido de rosa, no porque hayan desaparecido sus problemas, sino por la fiebre desatada a raíz de la película Barbie de la cineasta y escritora Greta Gerwig. Está estelarizada por Margot Robbie y Ryan Gosling. Esto ha disparado la popularidad de la icónica muñeca, que lleva años siendo famosa y también polémica. I've wondered this a lot, like how has Barbie had this lasting popularity for 60 something years? Other toy companies have made dolls, other, you know, so even just as far as what you can do now with a toy, kids can literally have iPads and, you know, just the thing I keep coming back to is it's clearly a device, a tangible device that they can use, kids in particular I'm talking about, can use to try and make sense of situations and it can be a, an opportunity to imagine themselves in certain scenarios, maybe being a grown-up, which is something that's super interesting and elusive when you're a kid. Um, it's just ingrained in us, I suppose, to tell stories or create stories as a way of understanding ourselves and what's happening around us. She's just uh, always been this kind of cultural monolith. That's why it's so brilliant that Greta starts to film that way in that sort of 2001. I did not ever for a second doubt Margot or Greta. So, uh, but you know, it was such a, like, like a, it's such a special film and it's just, it's so fresh and yet it feels like things I, so many things I loved growing up, but it also feels like something I've never seen and um, it just felt, I just felt very lucky to, to be a part of it. Es importante aclarar que no es la típica historia de una aventura de Barbie y sus amigas. La película contrasta el mundo de fantasía de la muñeca con lo que esta ha significado en el mundo real. It, it, it really starts with the sense of kind of trying to surround the concept of Barbie. Like it was almost like Barbie's, you know, this icon, she was invented in 1959. She's never not been the cause of conversation. She's evolved in all these different ways. Like how do we surround this somehow and I have an experience of it from when I was a little girl but also now I'm a grown woman so it, it just sort of looking at it from all these vantage points and I think one thing that was key for us was not shying away from what made it impossible and controversial and all these different things but sort of running towards it and and letting that kind of set us on our path of finding the movie. Precisamente esa visión de la directora es la que atrajo a un elenco tan respetado al proyecto. Yeah, great, great. I mean, <laughs> yes, like knowing her and knowing the big ideas that are in all of her films and then reading the script and seeing the big ideas that she put into this one, um, it was the biggest no-brainer ever. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree. She's she's absolutely brilliant, and just her lens and the way that she tells stories about women, centering women, um, I just knew that it would be special. And then, of course, reading the script, um, it was just, it was also laugh out loud funny, you know? And to picture all of the characters, the incredible cast, and the, the opportunity to work with them just really uh, appealed to me, and it's one of the best sets I've been on. Well, what attracted me was knowing that Greta and Margot were leading the charge. You know, that was immediately interesting. I admire both of them, their talent, their intelligence, and I just knew, oh, well, there's gonna be a perspective here. And from page one of the script, I was laughing, and then I was crying, and then I was laughing and crying. And by the time I finished the script, I, couldn't have imagined that I would ever feel so invested in, in Barbie and in Barbie land. Um, and I was so moved that Greta um, wanted me to play Gloria, who, you know, is really the stand-in for, for all of us. Tanto para los fans originales de la muñeca como para quienes no la quieren tanto, Barbie es una interesante película sobre muchos temas que, de fijo, provocarán una interesante conversación. I hope that they laugh so hard that their stomachs hurt, and then I hope they find themselves tearing up and choked up by the end, and then I hope they leave the theater feeling that they are worthy and that they're good enough and that they're, they're one of one, limited edition, and that they're so special in themselves. <laughs>